Now, I want you to tell me who the first person is who comes to your mind when you think about positivity. Take your time. And what is that one feature which makes them so positive? Well, hi, hello, my name is Akshita, and I'm going to be talking about positivity. That might, that might sound super cliche, like, wow, like positivity is so interesting. I think I do not have good topics because a lot of people in Tenet have such good topics that I'm talking about positivity. It's super common, but trust me, positivity is really underrated and should really be focused on. Let's talk about finding out the positivity of things. So, example, you are single. What's the positivity of that? You're single because being single is like much better. Okay, don't get me wrong. People who have relationships, good for you, but when you're single, you're more free, right? Um, what's the positive of a rainy day? The positive of a rainy day is you could get a warm hot chocolate and some marshmallows and just read a book or like light a candle, relax yourself. Um, so let's talk about this little story time I have. One time I got a bad grade in maths and I was super sad, like I was sobbing. And I like, what, what do we do when we get a bad grade? What do we do? Um, well, what I do is I begin to watch my favorite TV shows stuff myself with ice cream and remind myself how bad of a person I am and I'm so dumb because I start comparing my marks to other people's marks. So that day when I got my mark, I decided to do something different for a change. I actually decided to maybe try to turn that mark, try, try to turn the whole situation into a positive one. How you may ask because really what's, what's the positive of getting a bad grade though? But anyways, what I did was I looked, that, I looked at the positive side of it. So I got a bad grade, right? So I stuck that test paper on my wall and looked at it every day to improve it. So whenever I saw that mark, it reminded me of how I can do better than that. And boom, on my next test, I improved. I proved my teachers wrong, I proved my classmates wrong, and I felt really happy. So, that change of not me not eating ice cream and binge watching my favorite TV show really made a huge change in my math grade. And now I'm pretty good, I can say. The next thing we're going to talk about is the positive mindset. I believe, personally, there are two voices in your head. The negative one and the positive one. The positive one is super positive. It tells you things like, you're amazing, you're good, you are, you're, like, you're a winner. But the negative voice, which we will name bully, that bully voice tells you you're not good enough, you cannot do this, you suck, and all those mean things you like to say to yourself. Now it depends on you which one you want to choose, the positive one or the bully one. Make sure to choose the positive one because that's what, that's going to help you in life. Do not let those negative voices tell you that you're not good enough. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard the boxer Muhammad Ali and how his quote, I am the greatest, because that's what he thought of himself. He did not let those negative voices command him and tell him he was not good enough. He always used those positive voices and told him that he was good enough, and that's how he got the quote, I am the greatest. He had a total of 61 fights and only lost five of them, that which makes 56 wins, and that is a lot. So a positive mindset is the greatest strength anyone can have. Now let's talk about spreading positivity. Spreading positivity is my favorite thing to do. I like to compliment people if I see anyone walking on the street with a good outfit. I'm like, hey, nice outfit. I like to be nice to people and I like to spread smiles. And trust me, being the reason that someone smiles because of you is the best feeling ever. You can compliment someone, like you could compliment the girl in the bathroom who is like super pretty. And just be nice. And I'm a hug person and like I love giving hugs. Like that is my vibe. Like I love giving that positive vibe. But one time at a party, so you know how people like shake hands when they meet someone? So no, I hug. So one time at a party, I hug this girl and it gets super awkward because she makes a weird face and I'm like, I'm like hugging her, but why is it awkward? It's awkward because I do not feel anything. So you know when you hug someone, like you can feel like the hands coming, like you're hugging them, and you can feel the hands coming your. So I was doing this, and I could not feel any hands. It was super awkward. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna lift my hands. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. All I'm gonna say is be nice. In conclusion, one time I had a flight from Amsterdam to Dubai, and 
and was seven hours long. I had nothing to do because plain food is trash and there's literally nothing on the TV, just some stupid animated movie, which is boring. So I didn't watch that. I downloaded a few TED Talks. I was like, let me watch those. I came across this TED Talk which said how to be mentally strong. Now, I really wanted to watch it, so I pressed the button and go. This woman talks about how her mother passed away and how her husband passed away and how much she has gone through in her life. So I realized that it's okay to cry, it's okay to be negative, it's okay to be sad, but just do not let those negative voices tell you that you're not good enough and you cannot get through it. Because you sh it's not good to endure all the pain, like let it all out, let's just cry and stuff. But after that, we should really focus on all the positive thoughts and the mindset because those negative voices can really lead you into a dark, dark path of depression or anxiety. So you should really ignore them and try to ignore them and always try to be positive and be happy. Because those negative voices are just bullies, like they'll keep bullying you, they won't stop and they won't ever go away. But it's your choice to choose which path you want to take. Thank you.